Travis killed Fago's career. Don't think he would have gotten anywhere at Yeet level though. No, Fago is the reason that he fell off. I don't want to even talk about it. Fuck Fago. He's actually retarded. He dropped the ball. Like he could have been huge, but he really, he really just didn't take advantage of where he was and what his trajectory could have been. He could be a superstar right now and it's his fault and he deserves everything that comes to him. I'm not trying to be a hater here, but like, hey, I don't know how many times I tried to tell this dude fucking drop. I don't know how many songs I've reacted to, how many leaks I've reacted to, trying to like help and like enjoy everything he's got going on, but it's his fault for sure. He killed his own career. I don't want to hear it. Now, one person that isn't necessarily there, it's not their fault, but the whole i think the ian experiment is over like do y'all even care about ian's project he's got another one and y'all probably don't even know about it because i just feel like nobody gives one fuck so let's see ian's announced it on his instagram tape hashtag done now he might get all these instagram likes 262,000. it says at the bottom but like do we really care is he making the same impact that he was i feel like the whole industry plant shit kind of just died out at this point i feel like him being an industry plant was more interesting than his actual music like i know he had some bangers in there i liked some of his songs but his music just wasn't that great when he finally dropped a project it all sounded kind of the same and so when you're an industry plant, like look at Four Bats even, he had a couple big songs, but where is he now? Everybody fucking forgot. And that's the whole reason why nobody likes industry plants because they blow up out of nowhere doing some, I don't know, like they have a huge push behind them. Maybe they, maybe they have a little bit of a unique sound, but then there was no actual gradual growth behind it and therefore they didn't have an actual fan base so yeah ian like people see that he's dropping another tape but do people actually care no the industry plant gimmick in 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 2024 that shit just don't work fans are too smart the internet is too smart at this point we're seeing that we got an election this year all sorts of political shits coming out diddy it's having having freak off parties that shit's coming out he has a whole rico with baby oil coming out like everybody knows everything. You can't get by with being an industry plant anymore. Not gonna lie, you're nervous how fast the music industry and time itself is moving. Nothing is stable or has any real value. I mean, facts, facts. And you know the solution to that? It's live your life in real life. Y'all are wondering why I've been gone from streaming I've been just enjoying life. I ain't going anywhere, but like I've been just doing things outside and I feel so much better than just sitting at a desk talking about this bullshit all the time. I like it, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know, there's just more to it, to life than just being on your phone and on your computer and all that. But with that being said, you are right. These industry plants and just artists in general blow up. Like look at Laser. where the fuck is Laser? Who are some of the other artists that have blown up recently? Other than Ian and Laser. Um, what else? I'm trying to figure out like people who have blown up and then where are they now? Like Yapo JJ, where is he? He hasn't really done shit. Um, Yeet. Yeet blew up like 2021 20, and like already I feel like now he's perceived as corny. So. And if he got to the Drake level status where he had like a number one song globally, basically, and and already now he he's potentially going to get surpassed by uh, who Ken Carson, you know, just the Internet makes shit move so fast. Now, it makes it makes things blow up really fast, too. So you can become successful really fast. Um, and that's kind of like the. The trade-off you can get rich really fast but then you can fall off really fast so i feel like as a rapper like it kind of sucks because you gotta like make it look like you're rich while you're up but then if you spend all that money like you low-key might get fucked later on so it's kind of like a 
double-edged sword here. Um, who were the other people you said? Osama son? Yeah, I don't know what Osama son's gonna do. Like he was complaining about his shit leaking in DMs to fans. Um, he said, Y'all think y'all helping with my rollout whole time, y'all pushing shit back. If being a fan mean you're gonna leak my shit and promote this shit, then stop being a fucking fan. I could care less. Gayest shit of all time. Y'all could have had world is free. Same thing. I know what you did last summer in the tape by now. Keep doing the y'all though, y'all gonna learn blood emoji. <laughs> yeah, but like I feel like he's on his way out already, too. Like he had his little run. You know, Netspend is now the biggest thing in the underground. If you ask me, I've heard that his he's dropping a tape soon and they're pushing that shit. Interscope is gonna be pushing that shit. And I'm when I say pushing that shit, I mean it. It's gonna be huge. Like I would not even be surprised if that shit sold like 20k, 15 at least. Like they're gonna make sure this does really well. Giving y'all a little scoop here. But like with Osama son, I feel like just people, I don't know, like it kind of sounded like Ken Carson from the start. So that wave is kind of going to die because Ken Carson's going to move on and do his own shit. And like we already got Ken Carson. We don't need it at home type shit. Um, then who are some of the other people that you said Netspend? I feel like Netspend hasn't really actually released enough to fall off yet because he's still on his way up but after he drops his project and like seeing how it does like in the long term yeah we could see him fall off soon but like i don't know we shall see it really depends on the quality of the music because like if he does what ian does and the music is kind of ass then that shit is just not gonna last it, it, he like he will fall off very soon after that but that's just the state of music and not even just music but like social media in general now which is unfortunate